in this video i'm going to show you how to create awesome social media graphics from easy to use graphic templates using adobe photoshop welcome back to the channel my name is tjam and the holiday season is finally here and we're all most likely going to be designing some holiday kind of graphics for our clients or for ourselves so what I want to show you guys today is where you can get social media graphic templates that are ready and already designed for Instagram, Facebook, etc, etc. And all you have to do is add your own photo and edit the text within that graphic. That's really all you have to do, right? And these graphic templates are coming from Envato Element and Envato Element is a sponsor of this video and they have been so kind that they want me to share a discount code with you guys to give you 70% off a month's subscription from their website and with that discount and subscription you can download unlimited graphic templates not just for the holidays but for January etc etc and the rest of 2022 unlimited right so hit the first link in this video description to get that discount so let's head over to Envato Elements website and see what they have for us so here we are on Envato's website and I'm just going to go ahead and type in Christmas social media and I want to search within um, graphic templates let's go ahead and hit search and what I want to do is I want to refine my search for file types or templates that are compatible with Photoshop right so let me just go ahead and click Photoshop here and then now everything that I can choose from here is Photoshop ready, right? Let me go ahead and just choose a couple of them. Ooh, this is nice. And then we can look at that. Ooh, this looks like a complete template here. And let's just see, as you can see, they have a host of options here. I really like this ugly sweater one right here. This is really cool. And um, here is one that we chose. This is nice. I like the blue and the gold. You know, you have all these square templates here. If you were to click on it, you know, it will give you another view or it will, it can give you a breakdown of what's included in this pack. And as you can see right here, it says 10 social media templates, Facebook posts, Instagram, Twitter, etc., etc. right? Let me go ahead over to this other one here and it's telling me um, Merry Christmas as usual. And then if I scroll down, same thing, information about the document, about the project file. And I really like this. I like this black wood one right here. Let me look at the other one that I chose and this, this caught my eye immediately. I am really, really loving this green and this red here. Do they show anything else? No, they don't, but we get everything right here. Let's see what we get. We get 10 high quality Instagram stories social media kit and i'm assuming that we get instagram posts as well so this is the one that i like i really like this and i already downloaded this before i started this tutorial so let's go ahead and jump into photoshop where i already have it open so here we are in photoshop and this is one of the templates that i got from that pack they have 10 of them but i've only opened a few of them just to show you what they look like let me go ahead and click one more here as you can see, these are really, really nice. And this gray area right here, I'm assuming, well, not, I'm, I'm not assuming, but this is where we'll be putting our image or photo or whatever it is you want to put here, right? So you have the flexibility of using this graphic by itself, right? Or you can add a photo to really get your message across. You can just use it as a Merry Christmas graphic like this, or you can add a photo and for today's tutorial i want to add a photo and i already have some photos that i also got from envato elements and i'll put those in the description as well the links from envato where you can download those exact photos right so let me just go ahead and double click this image one smart object and all i have to do next is just drag in one of the photos that i downloaded and then as you can see here it's telling me to place my image here and i also got this photo from Envato elements right and i'll put a link in the description as to where i got it from let me hit ctrl and t to scale up my image to make it larger and then i can just pull her over like this 
and then place her right there and then let me hit Control and S to save this now I can go back to my graphic and see what look at that how cool is that and we're basically done all I'm going to do next is I'm going to drag on the learn share logo because obviously we're editing it here let me just drag on my logo just to give it a nice little custom touch right if you were designing this for a client or editing this for a client you can obviously um, add your clients logo to this as well right to give it that nice personal touch and then let me put the logo well actually where do I want to put it I'm not sure <laughs> let me just leave it right there that looks good right does it <laughs> I think it's fine what do you guys think and what I can do now is I can just go ahead and go to file and then save as and I can rename this file to LSPV because remember we got the Photoshop files from the template that we downloaded from Envata Elements right so now I'm just going to save it as my own with a different file name that way I don't overwrite the original file that I got I can always go back to it and create something else right LSPV um, 071 Christmas social media zero one because this is the first one that we're editing right so we have that okay I can also go ahead and save a copy to get a JPEG or PNG that I can post on Instagram to show you guys let me just choose JPEG and then I can just choose okay when I get my JPEG options and now we can move on to another template that we got and edit that one as well, right? All right, let me go ahead and see what else we have here. Um, I like this one. I like this one. This one is giving me the option to add text right here, right? Let me just go ahead and locate my object in the object group, my image. And then let me just pull this up. Right, and then what I can do is I can double click on it like we just did and I can drag in another image right let me go ahead and drag this one in I like this image let's scale it up a bit hit ctrl and s to save or smart object and look at that but let me move the um Merry Christmas that's blocking her face and obviously the text is in front of her face let me go ahead and just try moving that by selecting both of the text here and just dragging it down out from in front of her face right or maybe do I want to put it here mm -hmm. let me size it down Control and T for my transform options do I want to put it here or do I want it to be here on her shirt Mm, what do you guys think let's make it smaller and just put it here for now and what I think I'll probably do is I'll probably um, size up her image let's go back into the image and then let me hit Control and T right to get my transform options and then let me increase the size of her image right that should be better and then let me hit control and s to save then let me close it and yeah that's looking a little bit better right what do you guys think and i think now i can move the merry christmas back down right what do you guys think right here yeah i think it, it works now right control and t to just increase the size a bit and yeah, I'm definitely liking this. And I think in this space right here, I can put my logo, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't have to do it, for, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just showing you the creative freedom that you have, right? Let me just move it up. Oh, that's too big. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how I feel about her image not being in the center. I really don't like how it looks. Let me size down the Merry Christmas, Control and T. Let me size it down and put it up here because I really want her to be front and center, right? So let's find her image, Control and T for our transform options. And then let's put her in the center. Control and S to save that. 
exit that and yeah i think i like this better let me move my logo from off of her photo let's put my logo um up here and then we can add we can change this text right here and let it say um everything everything in this <laughs> design was um was ready made <laughs> for us to make <laughs> our job easier i mean we didn't have to do that but i just want to show you that you can edit the text right and no i can hit Control and s to save this or i can save it as something else just like we did with the first one let's name it lspv social media Christmas social media too, because this is the second one, right? Let's go ahead and hit save. So as you saw, you have a host of options right here to use for your social media, right? We just went through them. We just looked at them and we saw them earlier on invited elements, right? I really like this one as well. Should we try this one? Let's try this one. Let's click on our image layer. And then let's drag in another image, right? And then let's hit enter. Let's um, create a clipping mask. Let's turn off the top one. And then Control and T to size up her image. And we're saving this Control and S to save our smart object. And then look at that. We don't have to do anything else. All I'll probably do is just change the color of this text here on the bottom. All I'll do is just change that to green or red, right? That way it's more visible. Let me just click on that and let me just pick. I can either pick the red or I can pick the green. What do you guys think? Green or the red? Mm. Let's do red. And then let's make it bold, right? What do you guys think? Do you think it looks better? Let's try the green note that it's bold. Um, I mean, it works for the purposes of this tutorial, right? It's visible and it's legible, right? What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think? So we just edited this social media Christmas graphic template from Envata Elements and we customized it and made it our own. Have you ever thought of using social media graphic templates to make your job much easier and that way you can produce faster? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, Envato Elements is giving us 70% off a month's subscription from their website. Hit the first link in this video's description to get that discount right now. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and a special thank you to Envato Elements for sponsoring this video. Once again, my name is Tijam and I will see you guys in the next video.